Welcome to our lesson about the Zoom tools. Cubase gives you many tools to control how you view your work, and in this tutorial, we'll be learning how to use the Zoom tools. Let's start with the Zoom tool from the tool buttons on the toolbar at the top of the window. If you don't see the editing tools, just right click on any tool on the toolbar and ensure that Tool Buttons is checked. Here are the editing tools. Let me hide some of the other tools currently displayed on the toolbar so that I can see the editing tools better. Let me just unselect markers. And let's hide the locators as well. Uncheck. The magnifying glass is the zoom tool. When it's active, the tool is blue. And the cursor, when hovered over an event in the event display window, will appear as a magnifying glass. To zoom in on any event, just click on it. And just keep clicking to keep zooming in on the event. You can also hold down your left mouse button and draw a window to zoom into that selection. Your selection will fill your screen. Control click or command click to zoom out. And just keep clicking to zoom out. Cubase has a zoom shortcut that I really enjoy and I use this one a lot. Hover your mouse over the ruler. The cursor changes to an arrow. Hold down your mouse button and drag up or down. Dragging up will zoom out and dragging down will zoom in. If you drag toward the left, you'll zoom back in time. And if you drag toward the right, you'll zoom forward in time. Here's the event and content vertical zoom bar. Just drag it up to increase the vertical size of your recorded waveforms. This doesn't boost the volume of the audio track itself, it just changes the display. Sometimes it can make it easier to find clicks or noise when you're cleaning if the waveform size is larger. And then drag it down to reduce the vertical scale. To quickly adjust track height, move the cursor over the lower edge of your track. When the cursor icon switches to a double-sided arrow, drag up to shorten or down to lengthen your track. You can adjust the heights of multiple tracks this way with a shift click or a control click if the tracks are not sequential. The cursor appears as a double-sided arrow, and once that's in place, you can drag up or down. Let's try a multiple selection. We'll control select this track and this track, and now hover the mouse again and drag up and down to quickly resize the tracks. Down here in the right hand corner is the vertical zoom bar. This lets us quickly adjust the height of all of our tracks. You can also click the plus and minus signs. Now let's look at the track scale pop up menu options. See this little arrow? Just left click on this arrow in the lower right corner between the vertical scroll bar and the vertical zoom bar of your project window. This will set the track heights to preset values or let you enter how wide you want the tracks to be. I'm just going to adjust my recording screen a little bit because this menu flies out to the right. We can zoom all of our tracks to the size of one current row, two rows, three rows, four rows. If we choose N rows or zoom N tracks, we get a dialog window where we can type the number of tracks that we want to fit in the event display area. Currently, I've got five tracks. I'm not able to increase that number. However, I can decrease by clicking this arrow or just entering a value manually. And now my vertical display is set to three tracks. Let's try zoom to one row, two rows, three rows, four rows. Let's zoom full. This will fill up the project window with all of our tracks. We can zoom to a preset number as well, 4, 8, or N. Minimal will reduce your tracks to the smallest possible size. OK, let's return to Zoom Tracks Full. And now let's restore my project window to its previous location. Here's the horizontal zoom bar. It's right next to the horizontal scroll bar. And this adjusts how much time is displayed in the project window. 
Move the arrow slider right to zoom in or to the left to zoom out. You can also click the plus and minus signs. And of course, the horizontal scroll bar will be something you're familiar with from any other Windows-based applications. Drag it to the right to move forward in time and to the left to move back in time. Between the horizontal scroll bar and the horizontal zoom bar is the horizontal zoom pop-up menu. And this is used pretty frequently. From here, you're able to select how much time you want displayed in the project window. Here, our preset options are 6 minutes, 1 minute, 30 seconds, 10 seconds, 3 seconds, all the way down to a millisecond. We can also zoom to full, and this will fit our entire project within the window. We can also zoom to the position of the locators as well. What's very convenient is that you can also save your own custom preset zoom levels here. Just adjust to your desired zoom level, open the menu, and choose Add. Let's zoom in here. Let's select Add. Type in the name of my preset. And click OK. Now my custom view is available for selection from the menu. And this lets you get from one view to another pretty quickly. You can customize this for each project. Select Organize to rename or delete any of the Zoom presets. Let's rename Bridge. We'll call it Chorus. OK. And let's delete a view. Just select one millisecond and press Delete. Click OK when you're done, or Cancel to get out of the window. And this concludes our lesson about using the Zoom tools in Cubase.